brought your own hat, Mahershala. You did? What is that? What's going on, movie goers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Zero Productions. It's been confirmed by the rap, you guys, that Marvel Studios will not be attending San Diego Comic Con's Hall H this year. A lot of fans are upset, a lot of fans are sad, but let's be honest, let's be honest. What the hell are they going to announce even if they did show up at Comic Con this year? With all the recent delays, what are they going to announce? Focus on your phase five and your phase six. There's still so many projects that need some attention and some love. And I wouldn't be mad if they don't announce anything for another two years because there's all these projects that still have to release before they announce anything to get me even remotely excited. Oh, the X-Men's coming. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'm excited for the X-Men. But what? Year 2029? That's when Avengers, you know, Secret Wars was delayed, 2027. So I'm like, I don't need to know any more release dates about your projects or your future projects. I don't care anymore. Like, just focus on your phase five and focus on your phase six. Because to announce projects going to 2028, 2029, 2030, I can care less about. Honestly, I mean, that's just too far out. And who, who knows if the MCU is still going to be around during those times. That's just the facts, you guys. But what is a massive loss is if they had the Fantastic Four cast already lined up, Bringing them out at Comic-Con this year during Hall H would have been a banger. That would have been massive. But that leads me to believe that they don't have the casting for the Fantastic Four just yet. And apparently Margot Robbie isn't the top choice right now for Susan Storm. So I'm like, damn, that's a huge loss. I would love to see Margot Robbie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Is Adam Driver still, you know, you know the front runner for Reed Richards? Nobody knows what's happening right now. It's all up in the air, but... You know, it's, it's a massively missed opportunity not to hit the stage and have your Fantastic Forecast come out. That would have been such a huge banger, you guys. I'm telling you, that would have been a game changer for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But like I said, there's so many projects coming up. We still have the Marvels this year. We still have Echo. Secret Invasion drops this week, you guys. And then we have Loki Season 2 during Phase 5. Deadpool 3, Captain America Brave New World, Thunderbolts, Blade, Ironheart, Agatha Coven of Chaos... Daredevil Born Again, I mean, Spider-Man Freshman Year, you have X-Men in the Animated Series, What If Season 2. There's so many projects still coming our way that we have, you know, so much to look forward to. I think announcing another slate would be incredibly irresponsible for Marvel Studios because you do have to take into the accountability that as of right now, the writer's strike is still going on. So these release dates that they push back for certain Projects in Phase 5, you guys, that shit ain't solidified because if this writer strike goes on for another couple of months, going on to the end of the year, best believe everything's going to get shifted yet again. And I feel bad for my boy, Marshall Lee's Blade. I feel bad for him because I feel like ever since he signed on to play Blade, he hasn't done anything. And it's affected his career, his, his professional career. He was, a, you know, he's getting nominated for a bunch of Oscars, you know, prior to him being announced as Blade. And Blade always gets delayed. You know, he can't say yes to certain projects because he's committed to this character. He's committed to the role. And that sucks as him as an actor because he's so much better and so much bigger than him just being Blade. You know what I mean? I'm really hoping Blade doesn't get delayed again. I'm really hoping that they're able to really start filming this film and we can get this film completed for Mahershala Ali. Please, Marvel Studios, get it done for your Academy Award winning actor, Mahersha Ali. It's it's simple as that. And in phase six, you have the Fantastic Four, Avengers the King Dynasty, you know, Jonathan Majors, his trial is now set for August. Who knows what's gonna happen with that? If they're gonna have, you know, if he's if if, if if he's if he's guilty, are they gonna have to recast the role? And then guess what? That's gonna delay Avengers the King Dynasty even further. You know what I mean? And Avengers Secret Wars even further. So the MCU is kind of in some shambles right now. I mean, just content quality-wise, it hasn't been the greatest. Phase 4 was okay. You know what I mean? It's been okay. Some of the, I, I Honestly, I'm a firm believer that the Disney Plus series have done more damage than good for the MCU moving forward. It was content overload. The quality of the content just wasn't there. They need to take a step back and release way less projects, way less Disney Plus projects, put more time and effort into the writing, the visual effects, all of that shit has to be flushed out 
way better than what they have been doing. Because right now, I am not impressed. I have not been overly impressed with Phase 4 going into Phase 5. Yeah, you know, WandaVision was great. You know, Falcon the Winter Soldier, I really love and adore. Hawkeye was a good time. Or, you know, uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Cool elements of Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. Guards of the Galaxy Volume 3 was dope. You know what I mean? These projects just haven't been landing like they used to for the MCU. I know the last time a Marvel movie crossed the billion dollar mark, you guys, was Spider-Man No Way Home, which was December 2021. That's the last time one of their films reached a billion dollars. And, you know, Marvel Studios is notorious for having their films hit that billion dollar mark. You know, Wakanda Forever, I believe Thor Love and Thunder, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, all around the $800 million mark. You know what I mean? They're not surpassing. They're not hitting that that billion dollar mark, and it's so rare for Marvel Studios not to not to hit that mark. You know what I mean? But it's it's gonna be interesting. You know, you know, with all these projects being delayed, and I'm just thinking, I'm like, what what more projects would they have to announce if they did appear at Comic Con? You know what I mean? Maybe casting announcements for certain projects and stuff like that. But like, what would you would you announce an X Men project? Um, a Miss Marvel season two, Moon Knight season two, the Rise of the Midnight Suns, a Nova, a, a Silver Surfer project. You know what I mean? I, I it doesn't have me excited for the future of any kind of you know announcements they would make because I know that they're struggling right now. They're struggling right now, and I just want them to solely focus on the projects they have now and put more time and attention to detail to all the small things that make the MCU so beloved like it once was, you guys. I, I, I'm really, really hoping. I, I'm really hoping. Look, Secret Invasion drops this week, and I've stated this. Where's the hype evolve around this show? Ain't nobody talking about this show. Ain't nobody excited about watching Secret Invasion at all. Like, that's kind of a, a scary thing. Secret Invasion is such a massive comic book. You know what I mean? I'm like, well, damn, is, is nobody pumped to watch this? Like, is, is it really, you know, what's going on here? I don't know, man. There's so many different elements from for the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now that are pretty scary from a fan's perspective. You know what I mean? Coming from a fan who's loved these films since day one of Iron Man. You know what I mean? And watching it come full circle at the end of Phase 3 with Avengers Endgame. Part of the journey is the end. You know what I mean? I am Iron Man the snap. You know, it just doesn't get any better than that. And I don't think it will get any better than that, honestly. I'm being honest with you guys. Um, but there's still some projects I'm excited for in Phase 5, like Deadpool 3. Deadpool 3 and Captain America Brave New World are my top projects that I'm super, super duper excited for. Especially for Deadpool 3 with the different variants of Deadpool, different variants of Wolverine, returning X-Men characters from the earlier films. Oh, I can talk about this all day, you guys. But push your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Marvel Studios skipping out on Hall H this year, next month at Comic-Con. Thoughts and opinions, you guys? Should we be worried? Or is this a good thing? Post your comments down below. Let me know. Peace.